Located in a small town in the United States lies an abandoned house that was built in the 1700s that has been passed down through generations and generations and has been fully preserved. The last time this house was even lived in was in 1980. Words can't express how amazing this house truly is. To be left abandoned and preserved this long has been truly an incredible experience to even see. As an abandoned explorer, only one can dream finding a place like this. It starts back in the 1700s when the original owner came from Ireland. He was an amazing woodworker and cabinet maker. He can build furniture like you've never seen before. He was the first, if not one of the first, to reside in this area in the United States. When he came over, he had over 50 people help him cut down trees to make land for his farm and to build his house. Everyone within 100 miles knew this family because they would sell furniture to them, their cabinets, and even food from their crops from their farm. Going forward pretty much 100 years, the business of their woodworking and farm was passed on to their kids, and then their kids took over the business and passed it on to their kids, and they all still lived in the same house. It was a true time capsule exploring this house. Seeing letters dating back to the 1800s was truly incredible. Reading a lot about their family, you get to understand them and almost create a connection with them as if you knew them. As of now in 2022, there is a street named after them, including some of their furniture inside of a museum. And over the eight years of doing YouTube, I've never seen a house this preserved in my life that's abandoned. Yep, what is up guys? Today I am with Big Banks who's leading me right now to this epic abandoned house. This house, my friend Explomo says, is actually, he lives in Europe. He does abandon all the time in Europe. He says this is the most epic, antique, European kind of style house with everything inside that he has ever seen in the United States. He, and, and not only that, but like this guy, he flew from his hometown here just to do this one house. So you know, this house is epic. This is a time capsule. Everything is still inside, untouched. It is more rare than any other house maybe around this area. And I'm excited to see this. I've been to a lot, but this is gonna be nuts. All right. Dang, this whole tree's down. A lot of them are. Now, unfortunately, the family who used to live here died. I mean, this house, there's letters in there dated from the 1800s in this house. So it's been passed on to a few generations. At one point, this was all the, all the fields here was actually owned by this family. Now, this house is sitting here rotting and we'll show some of the outside off. We're gonna get inside and we'll talk more about the history of the owners and what they did as we investigate and just even go through this house in general. All right, we're coming up to the house now. It's like an old, yep, white wood house, all white. The windows are definitely old. They're uh, older style windows, I can already see them. Wow, yeah. Look at that. He was carving up stuff, bro. He was making something, I think. I think so, that's a big stump. Yeah. So maybe he was making a big sculpture. So what, you said he was a woodworker, the original owner. Mm -hmm. Wow. So a lot of this furniture in here is mm -hmm. handmade by him. Dang. Yeah, look at all his tools. Yeah, because over there, they're hanging up, all like the tools and saws are still hung up. And you got the tools on the here. Anvil, like you just pointed out, is right there. Some of this stuff is kind of like kicked around, but you get the idea. Oh, dude, the anvil's right here. That's what he said, bro, what the heck? Whole ass anvil. <sighs> I didn't even see it. I thought this for a second, this was the anvil. I, he probably made them himself. Yeah. Those are the, for the snow and the, sho the snowshoes. Yeah. I think that's how you get inside there. Oh, yeah. All right. Well. Let's see where this brings us to. A lot of old uh, antiques though, you can already see. Old bottles, like that Southern Antiques of the United States. I like collecting stuff like that, it's really cool. Whoa, so it opens up up here. Yeah, up here, Banks. That's where it goes? Yep. Whoa, there's, bro, there's crazy stuff up here. It's actually amazing. So look at this. Old pictures, right down there in the bucket. Mad cool bottles, bro. Some of them are medicine bottles too. These are awesome. Old baskets. Dude, they, look at this is so fresh. All the stuff's hung up. 
Oh yeah. Whoa. Oh, I'm, so, I'm caught. Oh, I'm not caught. Dude, look at this. Dude, this is fresh. Oh. The government instructor. Some of these books, they're amazing. They're all authentic. Arlington edition. Wow, old tin cans down there. We haven't even got into the house itself yet. And this place is already insane. Oh, the floors. We gotta watch. We gotta be really careful here, guys. Oh, God, that scared me. Huh? Where's the bed at? Oh, okay, I see it. Yeah. Can watch out right there. Oh my God. You almost would think this the family was an antique collector just by looking at some of this stuff. Maybe they were. At this point, we're gonna di we're gonna dive in and figure this all out. What is this? Vacuum packed. Vacuum packed mixed nuts. Look at this can. And the old uh, Quaker oats. A lot of people collect these. Right. Again, mad cool. Loving it so far. But does this door actually lead inside the mansion though? Oh, it does! <laughs> Yo, at first, were you thinking that too? I was thinking it was going outside. Me too. I thought we are going to open up to the outside. We got to be careful because there is still a hole right over here. All right, now we're in. Bro, I already, yo, this place is mint. I'm telling you, it's already mint. Here we go. Check this out, guys. This is why banks flew all the way over here for one day just to see a house. This is just spot one. We're walking in now. Oh my God. Bro, this looks like Europe. Doesn't this look like Europe? Wow. What the hell? Bro, there's shotgun shells. There's other guns. Bro, I don't even know what guns these are go to. They're heavy bullets. That's right. They're lead bullets. Oh, wow. Lead tip, like solo, uh, yeah, dude, that's, hollow that's, tips. That's like some like old rifle. Holy crap. And this is their family. Bro, oh my God, Banks. This is a gem. This is a gem. Oh my god. Alright, this is the first room. Even the, the French hats, the style. Look at the guitar. Bro, and you were saying that to today, right? You were saying today when we were driving that you want to find a place with like a guitar or something inside. I mean, this is awesome. A little out of tune, but... Yeah. Can you play a song? With just this? Yeah. Think it's possible? I'm not gonna take it out, but I'm gonna try to do it. Yeah, let's see. Oh gosh. <laughs> it ain't happening. It's not working. It ain't happening. I've never seen something like this in the US. Ever. I get really close, but for this right now already, it already looks like we're in Europe. Right now already. You guys see my videos? Go watch my Europe videos if you don't think so. Watch this. We're in the US. Wow, a whole bunch of old shotgun bullets just here. House is frozen in time. The family died. Everything is still left here. I mean, this, this is 100% one for the books. Might be one of my favorite houses, and I've only seen this one room. But I can already tell you, it's worth it. Milk account? Milk account for the names. Whoa, A.H. Fox Gun Company, Philadelphia. Look at this, the old stamps from 1918. Whoa, look at this. You can buy a Colt 45 automatic pistol for only $36. Some of these things I've seen before, these names, Bowering Arm Companies, I've seen this. Un this is unbelievable. This book caught my attention. It's called The Prize for Boys and Girls. Look down below. 
by W.W. W. Gardner, 1879. I mean, the book is so old, it's like actually falling apart. Like, usually I never spend this much time just looking in like, like a, a bureau, but honestly, there's so much things here and it's so from back in the day and it's preserved. Season greetings. Bermuda, that's awesome. An old shell. You got the old stamps here as well, back in the day. Dude, let me zoom in on this stamp. Okay, you can barely see that stamp. Put this one back. Check the next one. More shotguns. I wonder if there's the gun still here. At this point, could even be a gun here. Whoa, my God. Is this the circus? The greatest show on earth. This is the circus. Oh my God. I've seen these in like collectibles in like antique stores. In Manchester in the UK, June 21st. And here's more of the picture, the image on it. And dude, it shows the elephants. Oh, it's a shame it's ripped. People would collect these, man. Future show. That's amazing. Performing elephants. Now they don't even have elephants in circuses. Like, that's what's cool is like, there is performing elephants at some circuses, but they don't do what they used to with elephants. Most of them aren't really there anymore, but there are still some. So it's just crazy to see how like, they're still showing stuff that's changed from now and then. This place is freaking crazy. Now the bottom drawer is just full of ammo. I think he was making his own, his own ammo here at one point. So my guess already with this place is the owners would go to the like UK overseas to France and places like that a lot because those newspapers are from the UK. So a lot of things we're going to see, I'm assuming they must have went there and they collect some of the papers and they liked them. So they brought them back here. I'm just looking through because you could, who knows what we're going to find here. Some of these old books, this whole place is just an antique shop. I mean, the hats are still on the bed. Our home, and I can't even read that. I can't even read that. It's just, everything in here is so old. Our home fireside magazine. White Mountains. Wow, the old Willy house. The Frankenstein trestle. A lot of old American history. I mean, even the bookshelf, the books are still in there and they're just barely hanging on from all the old age. A typewriter, American flag. I mean, the picture is on the wall, the painting. And there's the clock, but there's no clock in it. I don't even get it. Like, it's insane. Glass day. Old, old teapots. These are worth some money too. They don't, if you collect all of like sirloin silver. Uh, teapots and things like that, plates. Wow. And when you look from here to here, check this out. Chocolate covered whipped creams. 
What is this? Cream tartar? I've never even seen those. Cows, old iron. I mean, dude, ev every. Dude, oh my god. I just can't get over it. I love doing abandoned places, but this one room already is mind blowing. It's all authentic and real. It's unbelievable. Heck, check out the outside right over here. Wow, look at this. Look at the the lawn and everything. Like it was just kind of like overgrown. It's just frozen in time out here. We're gonna head up to the next room. See what's going on. I don't think my heart and my body could take another room like this. I'm gonna be here all day. I really am gonna be here all day. I mean. The collection of all the books all lined up here. It's beautiful. The old wallpaper. And then you got this room right here. We're coming in. Sweeping right in. The rocking chairs. What is this? Oh my God. The whole fishing set. It's like a museum. Flatfish. Wow. That's awesome, amazing. Cool stuff here, old saw. Rusted. Is anything here, anything? It's like a little bed set. It's like they almost had like a dollhouse here at one point. Yes, they did. Yes, they did have a doll set. What's in here? Oh, just a lot of chairs. A lot of chairs. They were doing stuff with wood as well over here. Old furnace. Let's check this room out again. I'm gonna shut this door. Definitely was their girls' room, their kids' room at one point. Well, that's kind of spooky. Even in the back. Uh, the old chest. Gotta have a chest by your uh, bed, of course. Fabrics. Look at this. This is handmade. Baseball Joe, home run. Cool paintings. And just the way the sun creeps in through the antiques in the old house and dust and how everything's perfectly set up. You can kind of just feel like the, the owners are still here. Checkers in, in the old checkers board. Wow. I mean, it's, it's lost its color. It probably was red or blue. It lost its whole color, the ball. This mirror, I feel like the wood shrunk. It doesn't even fit the mirror frame anymore. It looks like some animals maybe came in here at one point. The walls up here are completely scratched. Claw marks. Out of all my years doing abandoned, in the United States that is, this is my top three abandoned houses I have ever seen out of the seven or eight years doing this on YouTube. If I woke up right now, I would think I was in Europe looking at everything. Oh, this is amazing. Makes, it makes me feel excited to do abandoned here. I love doing abandoned in the US. You don't find this stuff. You really don't. I mean, look at this room. Was their kids room? And dude, they still have the old dolls and dresses. I mean, you won't see anyone wear this kind of thing anymore. Who's gonna dress your kid in that now? I mean, I don't think so. Jeez. Electric bomb? Like lip bomb? Wow. I'm I'm a I'm a huge fan when books are in the bookcases or a library. This is what I I love to see. I think this might have been for the No, I don't know. I'm thinking maybe it's oh! All right, just get a little recap. So far, we covered this room, the shotgun shells, the highlights, to this room, 
And we just finished this room. Now we are moving on. A lot of glass bottles still. What is this? You know, it seems like they like to play the piano. Famous operas, easy duets, the saxophone. They like, to, they like music. What's this room? This is another cool room. Everything inside hat. Oh, looks like it could have been grandma's room. Get the cane there. Dang, old uh, tennis rackets. I mean, they don't make them like that anymore, that's for sure. Wow, nothing's too left that sticks out in all the other drawers, though. You got buttons, a lot of sewing stuff. Not too much. And this is the Holy Bible that's on the bed. Look at it. At one point, I think it, it was like wrapped up. Really old book. I actually find this amazing. An old birdcage. Look how it looks. I love that. Moving forward, there's downstairs. It's still up here. Let's just get a glance at this. Look at this wallpaper though. Got a castle right there. This wallpaper's really cool. Yo, bro. This is like my favorite house I've done in the US. Bro, you just wait till you get down here. Dude, there's so much good stuff up here. <laughs> bro, just wait till you get down here. I can't wait to get down there too. <laughs> every Every room is just a whole video on its own. It's just there's a story in each room. I'm gonna, I feel like I'm here all day just trying to get the stuff. Yeah. To document it all. There's like there's so too much. much. There's even letters to read. Like there's so much here. Like it'll take forever. Wow, nice and bright. The sun's hitting this room. Perfect. There's even hay in here. This room looks so good you wouldn't even think it's abandoned. The horse fair. Wow, that's awesome. The circus? That's cool. I love circus stuff. Clowns, all that stuff. People are scared of. I'm not scared at all. Dude, that is, is that a real axe? Look at the axe. On the chair. It is. What the hell? This is heavy. I can't even, I can barely lift this up. Old cigars. Not even smoked yet? Say what? <laughs> Check out that piece. Beautiful room. Oh, we know they had two kids. That's one thing. You know, as you go through this house, you kind of get more ideas. But we know for sure they had a toddler. Look how old Donald Duck's looking here. The waltz hit. The last bedroom on the second floor. Huge. That look how big that bed is. Jeez. Wow. That's that's something different. We gotta check this out. They had a whole like farm model. Model of a farm. Jeez. And down here. It's all made out of paper. Like some homemade project at one time. Such a cool setup. Anything good in this book? Can't even make that book out. Not this one. Home guest. Boston, May 1875. Look at that. This corner set up so perfect as well. Valentine's Day cards. Check that. Well, check out the old Band-Aids kit. That's amazing. That's my favorite tin can. Band-Aid. That's cool. Unless that was her house in that picture. Real quick, guys. Please like and subscribe to this video if you're new here. Also check out the merch. You already know, Beyond the Dark, riseabove.shop, link in the description down below. But seriously, guys, come on. 
When you're gonna go to a abandoned house like this, when you're gonna see the most epic stuff ever, you're gonna see it on this channel, Exploring with Josh. Like and subscribe, give me that effort, give me those shares. Let's go, baby, we're taking over. What's crazy is I go to a lot of antique stores, I go to a lot of like oddity, oddity places, and those Band-Aid tin cans, for example, and some other things, those are things like I own and have in my house as I build my oddity cabinet. I, I literally go to these fairs and buy these random things and collect things and really weird things as well. And I make like a, into a cabinet. And like some of these things here, I own. But I had to buy them from like all these crazy places. So it's just cool to see this stuff. Like it's authentic, it's real. I guess I'm going down. Banks said I have to go down. I'm gonna do it. Here I go. Already going in the main floor. This is the front entrance of the house. It's kind of blocked off by the chair. Holy f <laughs> Dude. What? Is that the Declaration of Independence? Yeah. Bro, what is this? National, what is this, treasure? Like, what is national treasure? Like, I'm telling you, bro. This place is unbelievable. Oh my god. Just for like a small it's, it's, it's packed. This is the best house I've ever done that's abandoned for this vibe. Crazy, right? Yeah, it is. Bro, you're so tall, like, oh my god. You can't, you can't actually fit in this house. Nah. See how this door comes to me? If I'm walking just straight through, standing straight up. Oh, you, you, you touch it. My hair grazed it. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> this, I can't, I can't. I gotta go see what's going on in here now. I need to relax. This is, this is getting too insane. Like, this is the family. Yo, oh my God, this is the family. This is the card we seen upstairs of her. That was her room we were in. That was her room up there. This is the whole family that was here though. They definitely all lived in the state. Yup, yup. Check it out again. These are their actual pictures. These people lived in this house, like all preserved. All right, so yeah, everything's an artifact here. Look at these, I mean, these are authentic. This whole set, the carvings, the, the, this is all, I think bronze or silver. Look at this fork. Even the salt and pepper and all these other spices you would put on it. Serlin Silver tea set. I mean, what? Poker chips. Probably all in there too. I can't even open that. Here. What the hell? Is this like real? Like, I don't know. It's, gra it's glassed. Like framed. Is this the Declaration of Independence? Like, are we? Is this the real one? I don't know what's going on. In Congress, July fourth, seventeen seventy-six. Look at the Illuminati symbol. This gotta be worth something. I bet you this is worth something crazy. We just found the Declaration of Independence, guys. We just found the Declaration of the independence. I don't know, I feel like I've feel like i seen this on those shows when people try to sell antiques. I don't know. It's just not preserved as much, but it was in a frame. Look at these old photos. I mean, even the feeling of the photos feels like a card. See, more reasons that they played music instruments. Tons of books. See, what's in here? Can we go in here? Or is it like a closet? Just a chest. Is this like a tool bag for like doctors? Oh, there's like nothing in it anymore, I don't think. Because I see these sometimes back in the damn shows. I tried so hard off camera to open it. It's like so rusted and stuck, but I hear nothing inside. 
I can't get over this. Like an old corset or just straight up bra. <laughs> what else is here? Woman wants to be New Hampshire's governor. Look how perfect this setup is. What is this guy? He almost looks like some weird voodoo doll. And this right here, this lamp setup's amazing. What do you think of the Declaration of the Independence? I don't know, man. That's crazy. I bet that frame it's in was built by the guy too. Most likely. Dude, I wonder if that's like, I don't know, like re like legit. Like, I don't know how dated back it is. I don't know anything. Is it just it a could copy? Be, it could be really old. It could be, yeah, I don't know. That's that's what has been the most, for me, like mind boggling thing is that so far. I mean, if there's things in here from the 1800s, that yeah. has to, I mean, there has to be some antiques in here that are literally, and even some papers like that. I mean, that could be wealth in the 1800s. I think it is. I really do. I really do. Everything in here is just, cr this is, I don't know. Dude, is this the best? What's like top five? Definitely. Yeah. Top like three. That's what I said. This is like my top three. It's pretty good. <laughs> and like, I've we've done a lot for sure. Like you do houses all the time, but like, I just, I can't get, this is unbelievable. For America, this is like, up there at number one. But for US, this this is all US stuff too, and old Italy, like Europe's like items. So it's together combined. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> what is going on? Why is the house this good? This is a square grand piano. I've never even seen one of these. I never have either. How'd you know it was a square grand? It's a square grand. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All the paintings. I feel like this guy might have been the owner, maybe the original guy. Maybe, yeah. Because this was pa this house was passed on for sure by at least one generation. Or maybe the owner's descendants. Maybe yeah. the previous owner's descendants. And oh then there's paintings God. everywhere. What the hell, bags? This is incredible. Look how look at this one. To me, this is like kind of creepy, bro. Oh my God. I think I'm going to pass out. <laughs> like passing out because of how good the place is. This is a picture. I'm, dude, we're going to be out here all day. We really are. Oh my God. Wow. Yeah, this is my number one. I don't care. 1941, the golden wedding. What is this, bro? Like these tools. Comment, comment below, guys. What are these tools? I gotta know what they are. These are... Oh, someone's here! Corresponding cards, but there's here in it. Could've been like their child's here, they kept it. Does it, I mean, this definitely works. What does this sound like? Oh, it barely works. Oh. oh, that one worked really well. It's still going off. Jeez. I love these paintings. Look how they're all on the walls. In Europe, it's always done like this. They're always usually all on the walls like this as well. All of this. Just beautiful. And just the way the sun is coming in right now and hitting this place with natural lighting is just the best. Now we make our way into the kitchen. Again, as you would already assume, everything is set up. Look how great these spoons look, the silver. It's incredible. It's set up as if they're about to have a dinner. What's for dinner? You know, like it's, it's, it's crazy to me. The chandelier is really cool. With some cool art. Loving this. This now took my uh, attention by surprise. I've seen some of this in like Belgium, Germany. It's kind of craft furniture. Loving it, how, it, how it's even all made. Solid piece. This, my friends, is worth a lot of money. It's all hand craft. You, you, don't, you don't really ever see this. Definitely the best piece for the kitchen. Look at the deer, bro. Exactly. 
I mean, you don't you don't see this too often. Dude, handmade that. Yeah, a hundred percent. I think he got that imported from Europe, bro. That's I, probably yeah. the Bible too. Yeah, yeah, this yeah most. I I really do believe that. You can get the whole yellow coat on the door. By Sears. A lot of Sears is shut down to see, to see any Sears. That's cool. And it's a yellow jacket. You yeah. Really yellow cool. jackets are cool. It like fits the aesthetic. But yeah, here you go. Now you've seen the kitchen. This I'm assuming is his work area. Or it's really older part of the house that they just probably didn't fix up. Or they ripped the wallpaper off or something. Wow. What is that book? It's huge. The Holy Bible. The Bible is. That is nuts. Yeah, it is. That is. What are they gonna talk about in the whole Holy Bible in this one? There's like whole artifacts in this thing, bro. This ain't just any Holy Bible. <laughs> it's the Holy Bible. <laughs> Jeez, I'm just so interested in everything here. Hey, look at this. If I can turn it in, it's like x-ray photos. I've never seen this. You can kind of see a picture of a house. A whole bunch of photos in there. I just want to know. I want to know what's in everything. An old gin bottle. Come on. Dang, that hurts my hand. Well, we're stepping in foot to another old kitchen. Wow. I mean, seriously, if this ain't preserved, and you know I mean? This will tell you clearly the date of this house just by looking at it. Definitely 18, like 80s, 1890s. Some of this stuff in here, I don't, I don't know. It's, it's dating that far back. Pure cinnamon. Another Band-Aid can. Coleman's mustard. Man. The hell is this? Floating dairy thermometer. Nut meat chopper. I mean, it's so preserved. What is that? Science Fair Glow Patrol? All right. All right. I think we actually maybe have explored the whole house. Because this on the other side of the door was where we first started in like the wood chopping area in the garage. Again, check out the back. Everything is so overgrown, you can't even walk. Here we go too. Check this out. Two of them. This is the crematorium. This is the burial certificate for oh, the people. But check these out, the burial certificate. Back in the kitchen, I just opened up one of these. This is aged. Probably forever. I don't even know what this is. Tomatoes? I think they were all tomatoes. There's a lot of other ones and other stuff they have here. Look at that. Defiance US shot shells. Plug slice? High grain? To make your own bullets. So let's go check the attic and we'll see if there's a basement the attic I hope there's nothing it's gonna pop out and kill me well it goes far down starting off here we got some bottles nothing too out the ordinary Wow look at that photograph art studios Photos done back then are so crazy. Let's 
with that old wooden barrels. What painting is this? It's empty. It's gone, actually. What bottles are these? Indian cough cure. Literally, cough cure. Healthy Kickapoo. A red rocking chair. Big ass wheel. More wheels. What's this? Laws of life. Health. What is here? All these bottles are like in the perfect. I don't know, it looks like it was like for a photo shoot. Now the other side. I don't know what this is. I think it's made to make um rope or yarn. I don't know. Guys, comment below again. What is this huge machine? I will use to make something. Wait. I gotta know what it is. Right here, these look like hollow tips for bullets. Or the bullet itself. That's like literally the ammo. I wanna get to this side. I think this is the barn side. Oh god. We're really exploring this house. Alright, we're in the shed part. All stuff to craft, smooth out wood. Saws. Looks like that's kind of it. Got the old Skippy jars for peanut butter. Look how they looked back then. Skippy. I'll check this out. This chest has like that on it. Some like yarn, dressmaking equipment. Really looks like, like a France, France vibe. I'm just checking everything. What place is that worth it to really look around? I bet you I passed by some of the coolest stuff ever. You guys are like, whoa, how do you not notice that? But I don't know, besides maybe this old radio or something. That's it. Wait, so what is that? It's a diploma for correspondence school. So, and you also found one about them for architect. Yeah, 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 all this stuff says model architect. High school, this is a high school diploma. <laughs> That's a huge diploma. Covered in gold. Yeah, so they're, they're all smart, wealthy family, they're hard workers. We did the house. We did it. Honestly, can't believe you flew from, wait, where are you from? I'm from Oklahoma, but I flew from Ohio. He flew from Ohio just to do this abandoned house. That's dedication. When I first started doing abandoned, we I would do the same thing. Like, we'll fly here, fly there, or travel, drive seven hours just to see something that's abandoned. Um, so, like, it's kind of dope, man. But honestly, like, this house, I just cannot believe everything that was inside. From the tin cans to the silverware to the portraits to even the piano down in the... In the uh, the first... Square yeah. Grand. Yeah, Square, square grand. grand. I wonder yeah. how much that thing must be. I wonder. I bet, I bet it's at least 100K. Yeah. We were in that house for like four hours filming, getting all the pictures, the shots. I mean, guys, this family is super well known, especially in the area. Other people know the other family tied to it. I mean, apparently even, I don't know how true this is, but apparently 75 cats were being hoarded in that house at one time. And I don't know too much about it, but there's just a lot of history in that house and the family is super well known, which is obvious just by everything they own there. It was so preserved, man. And you said you've done a house similar to that one in, the, have, in the US. I have, but I don't know. It's hard to rank them though. If you had because to rank like, them. Like, there's two of them that are just like right there with each other. And this is one of them. This is definitely one of the best houses I've ever seen. Oh, even, hands down. Honestly, it even compares to some uh, Europe spots because Europe oh, has the best abandoned for housing like true time capsules it's super old but this is right up there with that and be, it, even way better uh leaving i had like two ticks on me had to pull those off freaks me out uh, but yeah i mean today was such a good video and i really hope you guys enjoyed this is uh big banks 
Link in description down below, check him out. Uh, he does a lot of houses and mansions on his channel. But yeah, you guys know I still do them. But anyways, check out the merch, link in description down below. And yeah, guys, we're gonna peace out. So rise above, just go out there, explore. Peace and thanks for watching.